Moritz Escher was a remarkable artist. Not only were his pictures interesting to look at, but also many of them were puzzles. Have a look at this one. It's called Day Into Night. You can see birds flying against the background. Some birds are black, others are white. Let's look at the top left-hand part of the picture. You'll notice that there we have blackbirds flying towards the left against a light-coloured background. Now, if we cast our eyes across towards the centre of the picture, we see not only the blackbirds flying to the left, but also white birds flying towards the right. And it's difficult to make up your mind what's the main figure that you're looking at and what's the background. And he did that quite deliberately. Well, we can create some pictures a little bit like that, maybe not quite as intriguing as those of Escher, but they're fun to make. You'll need to start with a sheet of coloured paper or light cardboard that's square. And then you'll fold it in halves like this and press it down carefully. And on that folded piece of paper, you're going to draw a silhouette. Now, you can draw a silhouette of anyone you like. Mum, dad, sister or brother. Let's say this is mum. We start off with a high piled up hair, then forehead, eye socket, long straight nose. Let's imagine that mum's puckered up, ready to kiss somebody goodbye. There are the lips in that position there. Here's the chin and down to the neck. Then you'll need to cut out that silhouette. Now you notice because the paper is double that when we cut it, we'll end up with not one but two silhouettes. Now if you say, well I can't draw silhouettes very well, an easy way to do it is to start with a, a desk lamp and get a person, the person who is going to be the subject of your work of art, to sit sideways and cast the shadow of that person on the wall. And then uh, tape a piece of paper where the shadow is and you can draw around the shadow and you'll have an accurate silhouette of somebody from your family. You might like to get them to do the same thing with you, so then you'll have your own silhouette to work with. Now, after you've cut out that silhouette, you will, of course, have two silhouettes. And you can place them down against a contrasting background, let's say a light piece of paper. Let's put mum and sister over here. Uh, they're about to say goodbye. And we can bring them right up next to each other, and they're actually kissing goodbye there. But have a look what happens if we arrange them so that they're not quite kissing. Their lips are just a little bit apart and so are their noses. Perhaps you start to see something else. Not only the two faces looking at each other, but something in the centre, the yellow part, which could become the main figure that you're looking at. I can help you to see it by covering top and bottom with some pieces of red paper. Now I think you can probably see that the centre picture could be a picture of a fancy cup or goblet or vase with a fancy stem as well. We have here a visual illusion that can be either of two things. Now you might say, well that's a deliberate visual illusion. He set that up and I certainly did. And so did Escher. Has anyone ever created a visual illusion of that type accidentally? Have a look at this flag. The one on the right is the Canadian flag. Red maple leaf against a white background and two red bars on the sides. If we look closely at the Canadian flag and come into the centre part, don't think of it as a maple leaf. Think of that as the background, the red part, and think of the white parts as silhouettes. And you see two noses pointing slightly downwards, two eye sockets. You notice that the mouths are wide open, two angry men shouting at each other. Have a look at that. Their foreheads are touching and so are their shoulders. That's an accidental visual illusion created in the Canadian flag. Isn't that interesting? Here's what I want you to do. Create some silhouettes from your own family, maybe your own silhouettes. Paste them against a contrasting background and then mount the whole thing on a piece of cardboard. Hang it in your bedroom and you've got your very own personal visual illusion.